welcome to this very short video on blank nodes and variables. Um, we haven't just introduced RDF as a language um, or data model, but better, better say to, disc, to link uh, objects on the web using your eyes or references to describe, to, to reference to these objects. Um, but there is uh, often a need for pointing to objects to which we don't necessarily want to give a name. I'll give you some examples. Um, what if we only know that the capital of the Netherlands has a total area of, um, what is it, 2 million, 21 million? Um, so, do we want to create an object that, um, um, th that we have to give a name even though we don't know the name? Or is it just a bit of information that is sufficient to state? And what if we want to model an address with l many different uh, parts to it. We don't want to model this as an entire string. So is there a way of making this complicated named property has capital with area into two bits of information, namely there is something that is the capital of the Netherlands and it has the area 21 million or 219 million. Um, and the second part, do we have uh, something that is related to dbpedia vu uh, that has an address, that is an address, um, and it has certain properties without actually having to give a name to this address. And for this, there is some means of doing existential quantification or variables that you can write down. So basically, we want to talk about an health address object that has a place and a street and a number and a postcode without giving it a name. And these are the blank nodes. So basically, what you do is you create a resource without a URI, without a reference to it. It's unknown, it's a natural identifier that is basically simply a variable that we don't give a name. So here we say the DBpedia Netherlands object has something that is in a capital relation and this something has an area which is described by this uh, XSD double um, uh, literal we don't care about what it is and how it is called and so forth. And the same holds for the other example for dbpedia vu. It has an address. This address object has properties, namely it has a place and it has a street and it has a number and it has a postcode. But we don't actually want to give it a name. So in logical terms, these are existential quantifiers, a weak form of existential quantifiers. In formal terms, we have been talking about our formal language of knowledge graphs, which was still more or less the same as we had for, for RDF. But now we have to extend it with these blank nodes with um, variables. And basically, if you have uh, uh, such a change in your language that you have variables, you need to define a different kind of formal semantics. So the question is, how do you interpret these variables? And uh, that changes this, the, both the syntax a bit and the semantics a bit. And that's what we're going to deal with now. Um, but it, the, the changes are more technical than fundamental. So in principle, we still have the same ideas for the syntax and semantics. Mm -hmm.